the Clovis Wildcats travel to Rio Rancho, New Mexico to face the Cleveland Storm, who are looking for their fourth win of the season. We pick up the action early in the first quarter. Cleveland trying to get something going. Clovis just looking stout on defense. They force a three and out early in the game. First possession for the Wildcats. Jordan Hill escapes Abram Holland to the outside, trying to get something going with Cleveland defense. They're looking stout as well. Clovis will have to punt. First scoring drive of the game. Adam Grau to the outside. Cleveland picking up a big first down. And then a few plays later, Cleveland quarterback Cole Gauchi to the outside. First touchdown of the game. Cleveland leads 7-0 early in the first quarter. Clovis has an opportunity to tie the game. Jordan Hill just overthrows his receiver. They'll have to kick a field goal. And just like that, 7-3. Clovis, another opportunity. Get something going before halftime. Jordan Hill launches one in the air, but it's going to be intercepted by Cleveland's Trevor Coulter. Coulter getting a nice return up the side of the field, but he's, he's smashed right there by Jordan Hill. Cleveland, great field position. A few plays later, Adam Grove to the outside, shakes the defender, he scores. Cleveland on top, 14-3 at halftime. But here come the Clovis Wildcats right out the gates of the third quarter. Raymond Beach, one of the most underrated running backs in the state, up the sidelines. No one's going to catch him. He scores. Clovis back in the game, 14-10. Cleveland still leads. Just a few minutes later, Clovis gets the ball again, and it's Karan Wiggins. And he gets to the outside, and he's a big boy. That can run, next level prospect, you're watching him down the sideline. Clovis takes the lead, 17 to 14. Folks, we got a ball game. Cleveland, backup quarterback, Travis Lonergan, comes into the game, looks for his receiver to the outside, overthrows him big time. He'll get his chance to redeem himself later in the game. Clovis, opportunity to close the door. Fantastic pump fake. Play action, I'm sorry, by Jordan Hill. It's a wide open, Karan Wiggins touchdown. No, he drops it. Third and 31 on Cleveland's next possession. Lana Green makes a defender miss. Looks to the outside, wide open. Thomas Knox just to the five yard line. Humongous play in the fourth quarter. Cleveland will score right here on their next possession. Avery Holland, the big boy, getting it in for the touchdown. Cleveland goes on top. No kicker, Gauchi's out. Lana Green. Hits the two-point conversion. Cleveland on top, 22-17. Lonergan's two-point attempt completes the number five, Reese White. Next possession. Clovis trying to get something going. Jordan Hill rolling out, but he's tackled by junior linebacker Michael Rorosi. Had a fantastic game. Cleveland showing some big defense. And here is the nail in the coffin on the next play. Clovis has to punt. But it's going to be blocked. Reese White to the outside. Bryce Abeda, he scores. Touchdown. Game, set, match. Cleveland, 28. Clovis, 17. That's a final. Cleveland makes a big statewide statement by beating the Clovis Wildcats. Take me through that fourth quarter. The big sack in the corner of the end zone on Jordan Hill. Talk to me a little bit about that play. I saw my guard pull out. So I just grabbed my key and then he just came to me and they played the other for me. You know, they have a little saying say no one's tougher than a wildcat. We hung out all over our locker room and all weekend we just prepared. We did what we had to do. We came out here and we played our hearts out. 